proposal right. Hi guys, Matt here and welcome to my next Mad unboxing. In this case it is The Witcher 3 Wild Hunt Blood and Wine Special Edition or Collector's Edition Expansion Pack German one, the German one. So I picked this up today, it got on sale today and um, I mostly picked it up because of the Gwent decks, of course, which are included. Now, as you can see, the plastic is uh, thin and rubbery. I've seen many scratches on uh, the plastic, and I can only hope that it did not go over to the actual box, which, however, is surrounded by this... Uh, this as you can see here. So I don't think any of the scratches carried over. So this is the box then, which is inside. And um, this is the same in red as the old one was in blue, the first one. This is the first one, which is Hearts of Stone, which you can see is a little bit bulging and I will explain it on, but this one is in blue. See here? This is blue. So, and uh, the other one and this one is in red so let's open it up opens very easily this is uh, the inside one. this is normally the code yes the code is on the back of this one here then there are the Gwent rules and then we have the Gwent decks this is Northern Kingdoms and uh, has Avalach on the front side. And this one is Nilfgaard. And starts with Albrecht. And then we have these tokens here. As you can see these are tokens. And uh, these are used to simulate uh, lives and all that crap and uh, yeah so um, there's not much in here except for the Gwintex but the Gwintex are the most main reason why I wanted to do this unboxing because let's take the Northern Kingdoms here um, they're separately packed as you might know from I don't know card games or board games more board games actually or also you know buy cupping like I don't know munchkins I don't have any munchkins though um, but you know the older decks they have this plastic wrapping around them and uh, I'm going to try and remove this here without damaging too many of the cards which is a little bit difficult because it is dirty so here we go this should have been enough yes it is enough oh, here we go so this is the uh, these are the Gwyn cards so it's basically the entire collection which you can also find in the game for these and uh, what I wanted to show you is the sleeves I bought for these cars and that is why these are bulging over there because they have actually um, they've actually already been sleeved by me so it was a little bit difficult to find fitting sleeves but I checked online and found a single thread where a sleeve size is mentioned um, and it's the Mayday Games Magnum card sleeves these ones uh, 61 by 112 millimeter 100 pack the Dwarf King French Tarot sized 100 sleeves so these are the sleeves they are extremely thin as you can see extremely thin and you cannot double sleeve these but at least they give a little bit protection and as you can see the card fits basically to the T up here you can see um, I have not found a second sleeve to put these in. I would like to. I like to double sleeve these. But I have not found them as far as I... But you know, these are the sleeves. As I said, if you sleeve the entire deck, it will not fit in the box anymore by far. So that it will stand over a little bit. Um, but at least your cards get a little bit of protection so you can 
you know they are not marked and everything and um, you can uh, have uh, the the artwork and everything uh, last a little bit longer so here we go you can see here and um, yeah so um, now I have a four but there are not four but five decks now uh, since the fifth faction Skellige Arlands just was added in this expansion so yeah lucky <laughs> but just in that moment I'm um, sorry just something uh, popped up here that's why the bright light so here we go um, yeah but uh, anyway this was um, what I wanted to show you I have the collector's edition of Witcher 3 Wild Hunt I have the now the collector's editions of both expansions uh, I don't know if the if the deck is available for download they said something about uh, no not for download for uh, if the fifth deck is also printed or if it's only the four decks I think it's only the four decks but I have to check it for, for uh, check for that but I just wanted to quickly show this because I have never made a Witcher unboxing video wherever that is I have the collector's editions of two and three <laughs> so um yeah, but that that I wanted to show you. I think you know I picked it up for thirty bucks, and uh, the Gwent decks in them, plus the expansion. And I think the Gwent decks alone are actually worth it because this will give a lot of playing fun to just play Gwent offline whenever you want to. You know, this is a a good investment for uh, card gaming because Gwent is not difficult to learn, and um, you know, so everybody can build their, their deck the way they want to and they can uh, play the entire game uh, and uh, with the sleeves you uh, have the protection to play it over and over again so uh, I personally believe that the Gwent decks are a great great uh, addition and as I, I think I heard they are going to show a Gwent game, separate game for Gwent on one of the, uh, I think it was uh, E3 or something like that. They were definitely, so CD Projekt Red is actually developing something in that area. So Gwent might even get more popular. But even now as it is, I believe this is a good thing and this is a great thing to have. So uh, if you can pick it up, you should. There is a way to order it online. Let me check it out right quick. So I just looked it up on redeemgwent.com. This is going to close on the 10th of June or until stocks last. So this video has to go out immediately. <laughs> um, oh, so that's a code you can put into the Witcher store then. Okay. Oh, so you can... Uh, Oh, okay. So here we go. So that now, now I now I get it. Um, if you bought this, um, if you bought the expansion uh, and the expansion patch or similar, you can upgrade by using the witcherstore dot com and get the physicals. But you have to pay for it and you have to pay shipping for it. So I believe it is still better or cheaper if you go into the store which, ha which has the expansion. For example, I was in my local store. It was released today and there were like 10 copies. So 10 collector's boxes. And now there are of course only 9 because I took one away. I think they, are, they uh, sold 1 or 2 at least uh, till then. But you know, I went in the afternoon on the day that it was released because I took my, my lunch break for that. And um, yeah, so so if you're fast, you should be able to pick one up. And uh, as I said, it's it's worth it if you like The Witcher, if you like The Witcher Three, if you like Gwent. It's a no-brainer to buy these boxes, either online or offline. It's your your form of choice, but you should, you should definitely do that. And I wonder if they're going to release the fifth one in a physical form, Skellige. I would like that because. Personally, that's the area I like to be in the most in The Witcher 3 is Skellige because it's so northern. I, I, I love that. I totally love that. And that's, uh, I, I'm very happy that they released it. Gwent deck for that. And I want this physically as well. 
let's hope let's hope they do that but anyway so that should conclude this video it should be a short one and a quick one um if you have uh, um if you have any interest in the the grants buy this so um yeah uh, I hope you, you enjoyed watching. I hope you took something away from it. And I'm going to see you whenever I will see you. Bye.